How many butts is too many? For most animals, one butt is just fine. But there's a type of worm that grows more than 100 butts, and each of those is capable of growing eyes and a brain. At this point, you probably have some questions. Um, unsurprisingly, scientists did too. This worm, called Ramicillus multicaudata, is an annelid. Uh, it's a segmented worm, and it's a marine worm, and it also lives in a sponge host. So this worm is found deeply embedded in a type of sponge in waters off of northern Australia. This worm was discovered in 2006, but since then, although scientists have examined its external anatomy pretty closely, there was still a lot that they didn't know about its internal anatomy. And so researchers looked inside this worm in exceptional detail uh, using high-res CT scans and making digital 3D models. And they looked at the worm, both what its internal structures were like, but also what it looked like when it was living inside the sponge host, so they could understand that relationship too. When this worm was first discovered, scientists documented a high number of anal openings. So essentially, you could, when you think of branching bodies, think of plants, think of fungi. That's something that's actually fairly common for both of those groups. It's not at all common in animals. And in fact, there are only, of all the thousands of species of worms in this particular annelid family, there are only two that have these kinds of branching bodies where there is a single head and then the body splits off in all of these different directions. And every one of these branches ends in a butt. Now where things really get interesting with this many-butted worm is when it's ready to reproduce. What happens then is these segments called stolons form uh, on its posterior ends. Now these contain reproductive organs, but what also happens is that these segments develop working eyes and what scientists recently found out is they also develop a brain. So what happens is once the stolon is finished forming, it detaches from the worm, basically swims off and moves freely until it mates and dies. And it's able to navigate because what was formerly just part of a butt has its own brain. Another thing that was really interesting about this worm is that it's as big as it is and as many branches as there are, its digestive system extends throughout its entire body. But what was also interesting is that as extensive as this branching digestive system was, the scientists didn't find any traces of food in it in the worms that they examined. So there are still a lot of questions about how this worm actually processes and moves food throughout its body. But with a little more research into this worm of 100 butts, scientists will find the answers in the end. <laughs>